Well, hello there, guys. This is Agrippa Maxenius, and I'm going to take a look today at the game Order of Battle Pacific on behalf of Slytherin Game Studios and the Artistocrats. Now, this is a game set during the Pacific Theater of World War II. You can either play as the Americans or the Imperial Japanese. You can also play multiplayer, which is extremely cool. Let's dive right into it and take a look at what the features are. So we've jumped right into the American campaign here, and the first battle is going to be the Battle of Pearl Harbor. As you can see, we get a beautiful view of East Asia as well as Australia, and of course, the island of Hawaii, uh, or islands in this case. We're going to go ahead, and if you read down here, it says the Japanese Imperial Fleet has launched a surprise attack on the U.S. and Navy's base at Pearl Harbor. This is what started the war in the Pacific, so I think it's a perfect mission to start out with for the Americans. Um, we do have Army Corps here, and essentially what this shows is is the different armies fighting in your army. At times, you may have Philippine allies or British allies. It really depends on what battle you're facing. Over here, the specializations are things that you unlock as you continue through. Um, they're unlocked at specific points in the campaign, and they really add some cool specializations to your unit. Sometimes you can get them just by winning a battle. Um, the difficulty here, of course, you could set it however you like. I always have like to keep it at difficulty 3, Captain, um, although some of you may want to change that. And let's go ahead and jump right in here to the battle. Battle of Pearl Harbor, get a sneak peek. Okay, guys, here we go. The mission briefing begins. I'm going to go ahead and just jump through this mission briefing for you guys. You can read it. Uh, and we are waiting for the Japanese to attack. So we're going to go ahead and start the game. Now, each uh, individual hex in this particular game is just beautifully made. I really can't stress that enough. Even when a plane is flying around or dropping bombs, you can see each individual bomb being dropped. You can see fires being started. Uh, you can even see the wrecks of previous vehicles left on the ground. Now, the Japanese, of course, are attacking us here at Pearl Harbor. And as you can see, our one of our destroyer ships is actually trying to fire back at them um, in an effort to take down this Japanese Zero, but they're not having it. This is one of the great parts of the game. Also, you don't just have to have naval units or air units. You can have land battles with only land units. You can have air battles with only air units or everything mixed together. And there's a beautiful mix in this game. So the first thing I'm going to do, I've got to take this lone Jeep here and we've got to move it to this airfield as quick as possible. Um, and as you can see, a special event has happened. These special events will also, also often happen in the game um, to your troops. In this case, it says that an anti-air gun has been manned and is scouring the skies for enemy aircraft. So we're going to go ahead and take this anti-aircraft gun, fire at the enemy closest, or we can also try to move it. But at this case, you can see that we've got movement hexes. Uh, I think we just want to go ahead and open fire. You can see all of that beautiful flak exploding. Let's hope we can save the rest of the island. Oh my, I think we have another enemy bombing run coming in here, guys, and at least our destroyer is firing as much as he can in an effort to take this guy out. The real point of this particular campaign, or this particular mission, really, is to defend the ships at Pearl Harbor until the end of the battle and try to lose as few as possible. Um, as you can see, the Japanese Zeros are coming in left and right, and we really want that Jeep to go around the island and wake all the inhabitants up, let them know the Japanese are attacking, communications are totally down, and it's up to us to save everybody. So I've gone ahead and unlocked one of our wonderful P-40 Warhawks here, guys, and I'm going to do my best to take out one of these Japanese planes, but it's no short order. Um, this takes a lot, and I'm actually putting myself into a difficult position because I'm actually flanked by all three here, but I'm going to go ahead and launch the attack. Not bad, and we want to go ahead and also fire with our AA guns. Now, one of the interesting things is one of the actual objectives of the Pearl Harbor mission is to take down five enemy aircraft. And when they say five enemy aircraft, they mean five units. Um, so this can be quite a hard feat to achieve, but it makes it really, really fun. And this is the beautiful thing about this particular game, is the fact that despite being a turn-based game, a game, a very niche gaming style that not all strategy gamers are into. Me, myself, I adore it. Uh, they've really managed to make it lively. They've managed to make it feel alive. And I really feel that this game is going to bring people that are not necessarily interested in turn-based games right back into the genre and really excite them for something new. Now, if you guys take a look at the upper left corner of the actual game screen itself, you can see that there is also a weather icon showing you essentially what the weather is in this particular area. And I really want to go ahead here and take down one of these Japanese planes. Um, I want to see which one is weakest, and actually I think this one might be weakest. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and hit the 7 here, or the 6 in fact, um, and see if we can't bring one of these guys down for the video itself. I love to watch the graphics on this game, they're absolutely awesome. 
Um, and when the plane actually crashes, you see the explosion, you see the plane sinking in the water. It's just a beautiful thing to watch and something that I don't see in a lot of turn-based games in this day and age. The Fog of War in this game is beautifully done. Right now, we just got a hostile wave special event letting us know that the Japanese are sending more planes here from the north. And as you can see, um, because we have actual radar stations over here, we can tell where the enemy generally is. However, in the actual Fog of War in most missions, you won't know where the enemy is, which makes for some very interesting encounters as well as ambushes, so be careful out there. Now, I'm getting pretty sick of looking at this Japanese Zero, to be honest with you. So I'm going to go ahead and take it out right now. I'm sick of playing games with this guy. We should be able to take him down, and you guys should be able to watch the wondrous crash here. He's not escaping this Warhawk, and there he goes. Boom! A beautiful explosion. And as you can see, just like I told you before, we've got wreckage here. Um, a tiny little crater for the plane. I love that feature, and I think you guys will too. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed that teaser of... Order of Battle Pacific, and uh, I really would love to do some more videos in the future on different features of the game, as well as maybe some land battles. Of course, I only wanted to show you just a tiny, tiny teaser of what this game has to offer. Uh, if you guys want to see more things, make sure to comment down below what you'd like to see specifically about the game. Again, the land battles are extremely animated. Those are all sorts of different campaigns, all sorts of different uh, single missions to play, as well as the multiplayer to check out. So if there's anything you'd like to see specifically, drop it in the comments down below. For now, this is just a quick teaser on the Battle of Pearl Harbor. We didn't even finish the battle. I want you guys to get in there and finish it yourselves. Thank you for watching, guys, and have a great day.